Hey guys, this is Reese Deans of the Deansy Boys Show, and I am your host, Reese Deans, and welcome back for another episode of the Deansy Boys Show on the podcast special. And today it's a special episode because I have my good friend Lewis Winter with me in the office, well, in the back room. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, he's just making faces there, but um, special episode, my mate Lewis, he's going to be a regular attendee for the Deansy Boys Show. He's, he's, he's been begging for me to actually. Um, uh, to come on the show and actually be a regular to do his uh, own stuff as well to get some experience in either doing his own promos or um, to do his own uh, podcast show one day but um, he's actually part of the Deansy Boy family now so uh, I- I'm actually glad to have him on the show so Lewis Winter my good friend uh, thanks for coming on Mr. Deans how you doing man you right? yeah I'm doing fine thanks uh, so please do tell what have you been up to oh god well I've been working all the damn time <laughs> <laughs> I mean obviously you know everyone uh, doing 12 doing 12 hour shifts um, do, you know doing 12 hour shifts and whatnot and um, it seems to be over every day now apart you know this I, I was able to get a few days off here yeah. to do this podcast and um, just trying to get more into the wrestling sort of side of things as well trying to oh, yeah. build things up okay um, you you told me once um, not on the podcast show, obviously, but um, in person uh, when we had a ca- nice catch up, it was uh, you wanted to become a professional wrestler. Indeed, indeed, um, I um, I actually. Uh, what well, made you What made you actually start uh, getting into the idea of becoming a pro wrestler? Then? Well, obviously, you know when you when you you know everyone's got to understand the difference. Obviously, first that there's a big difference in watching it and obviously become to doing it, becoming a performer, you know, of of, of sorts. And uh, what we gotta remember is that, um, every, like like everyone else growing up, watching wrestling was the biggest thing going, you know. And I sort of one day just looked at these superstars and thought, well, what if I wanted to do that? What if I wanted to do something that maybe no one else would thought? You know, what what if I was to be in that ring? And then I thought, do you know what? I want to do it. I want to give it a go. I want to give it a, a good shot at it as well, you know. And it came around to it. Um, that there was a performance center in Newport, one of the places I work, one of the sites I work at, you know, and there was a there was a wrestling bit, a sort of training around the around the corner there. I thought, well, if I work there more often, why not give it a shot? Dra- Dragon Pro Wrestling. Dragon Pro Wrestling, that's the one. Yeah, that, the training center with um, Mike Bird, uh, Wild Boar, Mandrews, TNA Mandrews. That's the one. You got him. Um, so yeah, uh, do you, have you started training then? Or? I've started um, training at the you know the local gym. Obviously, you know I haven't started training there as such, um, but obviously studying under it. You know, trying to get into the mood of uh, you know doing other training like weightlifting, running. Doing, all in all in good time. Yeah, basically. all in good time basically. Because like I said, I work a damn lot. <laughs> <laughs> I work a damn lot, so it's finding the time for all this. Um, because you know once you get home from a twelve-hour shift, you the last thing you want to exactly think about is going to the gym. Yeah, um, but it's that per, you know it's that push. I mean, like you, you see these wrestlers, and after their workouts, after their matches, they go straight to the gym after. Yeah. So that push, it's like I said, a training, swimming, running, weightlifting to get that you know that muscle, that muscular look as well. And uh, it's just like I said, all in good time. It'll all build up nicely. Um, but to do the actual wrestling, unfortunately, like I said, I haven't got around to time to doing it. But like I said, in good time, it should be done. Yeah. So me and you go way back. You know, we go way back since. We're uh, not that old. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, well, you know, we're getting twenty. We're, we're, we're reaching twenty twenty one or something like that. So, good but, God, why remind me? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, me and you, we went to comprehensive school. Went to by by boys by comprehensive. Um, you know, uh, we uh, met up. You like wrestling, I like wrestling, so it's going to be a good friendship. And also, uh, this this is the idea of actually a good catch up as well because my podcast show, I talk about wrestling. That's just basically it. Okay. Sometimes I could talk about football or, um, or films, but that's like a different series, you know, like a, like a television series or any spin off shows. Um, you get that, but the, the Deansy Boy show, like this now, it's uh, all about wrestling, so we're going to talk about it. And you've asked me, you've asked me to. Uh, let me come, let you sorry uh, come on the show and just talk about it and that's well, that's what's going to be exactly well you know I thought in honor of our friendship in honor yeah. of our you know as you say long ass friendship yeah, you know going way back in one but um, I thought you know what if he's doing podcasts and he's talking about wrestling 
it makes more sense that as a wrestling fan, and we go way back, that we talk about it. Because yeah. it's like, you know, it's like I said at the beginning of the show, we want, we want to talk about it. This is what we want to do, you know? And, like, you know, we go back as far as wanting to do reactions. We want to talk about what's going on now in the wrestling world, you know? And um, if, you got the, if you are that interested, why not talk yeah. about it? Why not react to well, it? Well, let's just start. Well, let's start now. Now, um... Recently, there's there's always been ups there's ups and downs in WWE recently. There's been right? loads of them. <laughs> there's, been, there's been too many ups and downs. I think there's been too many. But recently, you know, we've had some uh, fan fantastic uh, story story uh, uh, parts and uh, story moments. Well, good booking. And but the thing is, um, before we get on to the booking topics and of this good storytelling and what's up. What's happening at uh, Battleground later on in the? That's the one I'm next, looking forward to. Yeah, uh, later on in next month. But I, um, and before we talk about Money in the Bank, we gotta talk about um, uh, our, our good friend uh, Roman Reigns. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Well, not really good friend per se, but um, well, the thing is, um, obviously, for the ladies and gentlemen at home, uh, listen to this. Uh, Reese is not in fact exactly a fan of Roman Reigns. Like he couldn't get into the guy in way you know back way back when he first started. On the other hand, I liked Roman Reigns. I liked him in The Shield. I liked him in, you know, I liked him, you know, as that powerhouse, just less talking. Oh no, I liked him as Roman. I liked him I in The did, Shield. Well, yeah, I did like him in uh, The Shield. The, did, the, 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 I just didn't like. I didn't like yeah, the way he was being booked. It no. was like John Cena as well. But the then again, I said the five moves of doom. Five, yeah, well, <laughs> it was not because it was just the fact that um, uh, when he when the the Shield disbanded, um, uh, he was he was booked to too early I think they should have been building him up um, they should have built him up but what that's the thing like if you recognize the money in the bank Roman Reigns showed Rollins that he's that much stronger uh, well, like storyline the storyline story, obviously yeah. yeah you know like Rollins he built himself up obviously due to his injury mm. uh, which we'll talk about again later on and, I'm then, sure. and then there was Dean Ambrose and there was just Dean money. Ambrose um, yeah the thing, and the thing is about Roman Reigns. I thought he was just pushed too early, um, and especially like uh, he wasn't very good on the mic. He was too stale. He, he, mm. It was like his speech was like eating stale bread. I mean, uh, it, was <laughs> it just, seems awful. Uh, it sounds. You just... know, that's the thing. See, like throughout the time Roman Reigns became champion, my he was my favorite star. He was my favorite superstar. That sort of dialed down through the times that he was champion I was just thinking my god what is this like you know the, what is what's this Reigns coming from now I mean everyone seems to think because of The Rock he's got his big break in wrestling yeah uh, I thought so that too yeah. well, well everyone thought that didn't they and then obviously he was the shield carried on but then Reigns just became too mainstream like Cena you know like like John Cena I mean, too Cena I, I, too... I thought he was going to be like a rebel a rebel like uh, character like Stone Cold what, if what, you know what I mean because the way he looked I mean he was, I liked his ring gear but then again people did point out it's just him he, ca he can't get out of his shield no he can't moment, especially well, with the theme music the theme exactly music well, well funny enough the theme music he stuck with you know, obviously they retweaked it to make it you know and some people came across it thinking I was lazy because everyone changed their you know, Ambrose and Rollins changed their music where his ring stuck with being the soldier, which he was, that's what they were, they were soldiers, you know, uh, brothers in arms. And Reigns kept on thinking, like even like when even it was Ambrose, bit, man well, exactly, well even when Ambrose and Reigns were still speaking, right, because you know, they don't even seem that close no more. But when they were still facing each other, you know, they were still brothers. And Reigns even to this day thinks he is, you know, and, and, and if you've seen Ambrose is much more aggressive now after becoming champion. And I don't know. It just sort of, like I said, died like died down ever since Reigns became champion, and that's why my my sort of favorite well, superstars yeah. off in then. Well, um, but with Roman Reigns now, it's just um, the big the big surprise is is that you're wearing a Roman Reigns T-shirt. <laughs> um, but no, no, not only that. Well, I, did, I don't mind his ring gear. I actually do like his ring gear, but uh, well, we I saw you know we saw his replica jacket on uh, WWE Euro Shop, and uh, it's not bad. I and mean, I'm planning to get Reese Dean for his you know, for his uh, Christmas present because you know oh, the ladies. Well, my birthday's see. next month, so it's a day. Oh, it's it's birthday next. Well, there we are. A day before Battlegrounds as well. How uh, I, how I, ironic. Yeah. Um, no, but the thing is about Roman Reigns, though, ladies and gentlemen, is that uh, not if some of you guys have not heard is. Uh, he's been suspended for 30, 30 <laughs> days for breaking the wellness policy. Now, uh, he's not a good guy. 
He's no, not he's a bad guy. But he knows a guy. Who, he knows a guy. <laughs> he knows a guy who can get him drugs. <laughs> well, funny enough, you know, like uh, before this podcast even began, um, I had a friend of mine who rang me, and I said I had to answer the phone. I had to obviously answer the phone, and I well, said, "Well, you got it. The phone's ringing, isn't it? Well, phone's ringing, right?" <laughs> and um, I said, "Oh, Roman Reigns is my high." <laughs> oh, yeah, oh yeah, it's like, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if, if you're gonna if you're gonna have uh, Lewis Winter on your um, on your phone list on your contacts. Be prepared to answer. Be prepared. Be prepared to, be prepared to have uh, an answer which could probably instead of saying hello, he's going to say Roman Reigns is my high, which is, or, I thought that was the best thing ever. Or, or gay services. That was another one I answered. Uh, uh, let's keep the homophobia instead. You know, well, no, 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 not judging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, not judging keep it down. Keep it low. Um, <laughs> but uh, Roman Reigns suspension. Um, some people say it's something to do with weed. Uh, some people thought it was steroids but um, you gotta look you gotta look at the big picture here this is where I'm gonna actually defend Roman Reigns because I think because I think some people don't not know how how very strict the wellness policy in the WWE is actually is and even though some people might think well hang on a minute Reese, you don't know much about the wellness policy yourself true but the thing is uh, you have to listen uh, you got to take into consideration is that the WWE have previously had um, some steroid issues so drugs issues and some health uh, involving physical and mentally issues, mm. i.e. Eddie Guerrero, which he died of a heart attack, uh, in which it involved, some people say it involved drugs. I think he had a heart disease anyway, so I can't really put that into perspective if, if it was uh, the cause of drugs. But I'm saying that, you know, there, there could be something there, you know, uh, and especially the likes of Chris Benoit as well, which um, the... Well, Chris Benoit sort of... Uh... Chris Benoit sort of kicked it all off as far as uh, the wellness policy going up a bit more further, um, obviously due to the you know unfortunate you know, unfortunate thing that happened to him. Um, Do you actually? I know. I know. Sorry to cut you off, but actually, I'm, I'm going to ask you this. I, I I ask loads of people this question, and they always see the same answer. But I want to know your um, your opinion on this. Do you think he actually did murder? Um, Guys, I I'm, I know he probably did it, but this is me asking someone else a question about the case. Do you think he actually done it, or what do you think actually went on? Well, you know, at the end of the day, the story is goes that Chris Benoit murdered his family and killed himself, right? And can I just say this uh, this thing's been going on for a very long time. I think it's even still going on to this day. Uh, what's going on at um, the investigation? But What's my opinion? I think, I think it is how it, how it's presented. I think Chris Benoit lost control of himself due to his medications or overdose, whatever, whatever the concussions, concussions and whatever. Um, am I right in saying that his main move was actually a head? Well, not head. Well, heads like a, the, sort head, of the, 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 the flying head. head yeah, well, exactly. Now, what you got to remember, ladies and gentlemen, is after many, many, many times and performances of doing that. Do you really expect your head is going to stay in the same place after? Really? Well, exactly. Even Reese is, uh, you know. But um, his Even head wasn't all that. Just shaking my head. Just, just shaking yeah, exactly. Head. Shaking, his head. shaking his head. But um, superstars uh, got to do something to get their mind off wrestling because it's a very stressful job. Uh, Chris Benoit, obviously, I think he did take a few drugs to get his mind off stuff. And I think he uh, must have accidentally aimed for people that he didn't want to aim at. Yeah. Um, and that's your opinion. I think that's my. I, I think that's a good opinion. Because when I uh, when I first well not when I first started because uh, when I when I was I was only a kid when uh, well we, well, yeah, we, we were all kids. kids when Chris Benoit killed himself and killed his family or well, killed his family before he killed himself. But um, oh, that'd be really really weird if that ever like you know the, <laughs> other, way, the other way round. Yeah, they're yeah. thinking okay. Um, no, but the thing is about the the health policy. Now this is going back to Roman Reigns suspension here. Let's get back on track. Um, <laughs> the wellness policy is very strict and um, they, they do consist of lack of. Um, and this is not just drugs, by the way, people. This is actually uh, medication as well. There are some painkillers where um, uh, wrestlers are not allowed to have, even though they are supposed to be prescribed it to them. It is very strict. Um, and especially with... Um, what am I looking for? Um, some of the moves as well. Some of the moves. Um, because of like concussions as well, and that's what brings Chris Benoit into the discussion here, is that um, too many headshots or too many bumps to the head does actually cause your brain to have serious 
it makes you uh, damages. Well, exactly. At the end of the day, what you know, after too many uh, you know concussions and whatnot, and too much headshots, what's it going to do to your head? Yeah, it's gonna. But I think this is why this is why I'm saying um, you know I'm right in saying that this is why the curb stomp was uh, Steph Rollins' original finisher was actually banned. Because but well, I think some it headshot reported, it was reported a bit too uh, dangerous. Well, and, I, the thing is, this is pro wrestling, not uh, not baby fire. Not baby fire, you know. And this is and uh, and I'll, I'll talk about this some other time. But I think uh, WWE need to actually. Let be, them do what they need to do. Like to, do, to not heal. need to, not not let them need to do what they want to do. But um, okay, be a bit health and safety, of course. But you can still put off some good moves. Now, um, well, Roman Reigns is well as policy. You know, he could have taken anything. Yeah, uh, he could have taken any drugs. Uh, I'm not saying he took the actual like lethal drugs. You know, like cocaine, crystal meth, or anything like that. I'm not saying he took weed. Um, I'm I'm probably saying he took some medication that could have like helped him with uh, like his bumps or something like that because I think that's what one of the causes. Mm. Uh, th- but I think that like you know the wellness policy policy is it it is a very strict um, rule or like uh, step by step. I agree. Uh, no, I, I I agree. Um, but you know I I know I'm a anti Roman Reigns uh, person here, but it's it is a matter of but I'm not. Saying that he does, well, he he deserves to get suspended if he if he did break the wellness policy. But I'm also saying that um, you you know go lay off the guy because some people are saying it's weed, it's weed, it's it's this, it's that. How do you know? You know, it could have been just simple medications. It could have been just a paracetamol. For all we know, you know, it's just at the end of the day, you know, these guys are out there for well. Nearly uh, like three hundred days, three hundred days a year. Three hundred days a year, and you know, and then obviously they're back home for Christmas. You know, that's their you know agreement. Sometimes it's not even that. Sometimes it's not even that. Sometimes it's two days for Christmas, back out on the road. Yeah, off they go. Um, and it's a very long, it's a very long time to be away away from home. It's a very you know, people have to these superstars have to adjust to all that. You know, some people can do it, some people can't. That's what Triple H even said before. Even Triple H said that. Yeah, and it does hurt. It does hurt. But when you're out there and you know everyone seems to think that they you know they're on the road, and then you know for a few days and they they skip a few days performing. Mm. They're performing every day of the yeah. week. Um, and this is where like where some people say um, wrestling is fake. Define fake. Define I I see that's the thing. Everyone's come up to me. You know all the heel fans out there. They come up to me and they say wrestling's fake. I said, to be honest, you're not really crushing any dreams saying that, because to me, wrestling's just well-coordinated fighting. It's it's real in its own sense. It's that, real in its own um, sense. They, they still well. do get hurt. Oh, yeah, they definitely still get hurt. Um, I, I've mentioned it. I don't know if you meant it hurt anything about, um, anything about my my thoughts on wrestling being fake. I mentioned it many, many times. And I, I, I try just, not, I try not I to say he takes this extremely... I, I agree, to be all fair. I, extre- yeah, I agree with Reese when it comes to all... Uh, you know, I I agree with you when it comes to the whole, um, you know, why, why do people say wrestling's fake? Well, okay, fair enough in your opinion. Everyone is entitled to opinion. I'll never take that away. But let's see people that say this fake go out there and do this every day of the week. You know, that's yeah. that's my argument. And you're going in there. I'm go. I plan to. I plan you plan to, to go in there. I, pl- so. I plan to go in there. Yeah. And, you know, when you see all those guys taking the chair shots or doing high flying moves. You know, it's it's not going to be easy. I, I don't want to be away from home all that time, but and you don't want to be like in that much pain. But thing is, it's it's that's the way wrestling is. Well, exactly. You know, and I know people out there. You know, people out there say that um, weed is bad. Okay, well, yeah, okay. You know, this whether rains done or not, not our business. Fair enough. Is that's the if that's what the wellness. And part, we still don't know. We know. still don't know. We'll never know. We'll never ever know because WWE is very tight about these sorts. And things. they're very seclusive. Very seclusive about this. But we may we may actually because with Roman Reigns, you know, he, he has come out on Twitter and said like yeah, he's taking the responsibilities. He's, he said he the way, he the way he sounds. The, but the thing is, the way he sounds, well, the way it looked on Twitter, the way he tweeted that. Um, on that tw- on that Twitter page, he done it, it. Did sound like it was something to do with a bad drug, but then we'll never know. No, but um, but it, it's just we have to wait and see. We have to wait. We have to wait and, and see. And we we just have to. I'm now, sure. it'd be, but he's coming back for um, Battleground though. I he's think co- I think he five come days back. before Battleground, I believe. He's back on the twenty first. Right. Okay. Yeah. So 
21st of July, that is, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I so I, I still see him do that, but uh, I think to make it more simple with the storyline, just have Wallens and Dean Ambrose. But uh, uh, you see, that's the thing now. Everyone's going to be asking the question, like, how are they going to shoot the promo for yeah. the triple threat? Yeah. He's missing the draft pick. He's missing. He's going to miss everything. And, and he's not, not going to miss anything. I well, just not think everything. He's going to miss the, the main. I think the big main thing is the draft pick because they're bringing that back and the the type of storyline or not like storyline per se, but the type of structure they were trying to give is that they'll have uh, John Cena as the face of SmackDown and Roman Reigns the face of Monday Night Raw. Breathe in. Um, <laughs> but uh, I think that's going to be now moved to the position of Dean Ambrose with Seth Rollins. Which is fine because it's getting a bigger push for them, and and if you well, it's the match everyone wanted to see. I mean, you saw uh, when we go to our Money in the Bank uh, reaction that um, the way everyone reacted to Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins in the ring, yeah, you know, everyone was cheering. Everyone was like, "Thank you, Rollins!" And I, yeah. I saw that we saw the chance. Yeah, we, we it, it was chance. fantastic. It was um, a brilliant atmosphere. Going back on the suspension list. Oh, there's another. There's been another suspension, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Um, Jerry, yeah. Jerry the King Lawler, good old Jerry Lawler. <laughs> I would never. Now, believe it or not, I don't know what I reacted to more. Dean Ambrose winning the belt or Jerry Lawler's suspension. Now, this one was big. I, I, I actually kind of... Um, I was actually really surprised that Jerry the King Lawler was actually suspe- suspended indefinitely. Uh, not for 30 days, not for a month, not for, for a year. For the foreseeable future. For everything. He's suspended because he's been suspended due to uh, his involvement with domestic violence in which that uh, same as Adam Rose who was also sus- uh, I think he, he was released he wasn't suspended he asked for his release papers but I think they should have I think they would have actually suspended him uh, for the thing but going back on Jerry Lawler uh, they actually do not tolerate domestic right. violence um, same as Chris Benoit, the murder of his wife, uh, same as any other stuff. I mean, you could go back and learn any uh, wife beaters uh, out there, you know, and all those sort of storylines. Well, yeah, Jer- yeah. But Jerry Lawler's suspension, um, I'm just really, really... Su- I, I'm any sure thoughts I, on it? I, I don't know. <laughs> Again, like I said, I'm, I don't know what's more shocking, Dean Ambrose's win or Jerry the King Lawler's suspension. Now, um, Domestic violence. I believe it was towards his own wife, if I remember reading that correctly. I, 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 very young wife. Very, very young wife. Yeah, but um, I know everyone's still debating over that. Even like you know, um, but uh, what we got, you know, like everyone's gonna, uh, everyone's gonna ask the big question here: Why? Now, now, none of us are gonna really know the reason why. None of us are ever gonna know the reason why. That's how tight WWE uh, unless... stuff. But Unless I think someone leaks the few. You know, well, saying. probably Jerry Lawler could be talking about it because you know um, the the thing is as well is now if a pro wrestler from WWE is being released from his contract, he's gonna re- he or she is gonna reveal everything. Well, if you remember that, uh, if you remember, I know this sounds like a mad comparison here, but if everyone remembers uh, <laughs> WWF at the time, China. Now, when she got released. When she uh, when she had enough of WWF at the time, she was no, she didn't. Well, quit. she didn't quit. Oh no, she didn't quit. No, so she got fired. From she things. got fired. Yeah, my mistake. My mistake. I, I'm going back to another time here. Um, but she, I found a video on YouTube personally where she was talking about why what really happened, like what really went down. She, you know, not a single damn was given, and um, I believe that's what's going to happen with Jerry the King Lawler when uh, when eventually gets to it. Because once you're released. What what really are they gonna what really say have they got W has got in you know have they got into it and um, um sorry sorry sorry, sorry, we're, we're, sorry we are reading something here yeah, yeah it was just a bit of a before we go, go back to Jerry the King Lawler's uh, we'll mention actually sorry we'll mention um sorry this, bigger this, just turned so up. <laughs> we'll mention this big news that's actually happened but uh, uh yeah but basically Jerry the King Lawler's he, he will be mentioning a lot and um. But I think I think his time was up anyway. Do you think? Um... I think. Listen, Jerry the King Lawler, as we all know, was the great, was the greatest, was the greatest uh, commentator, other than Jim Ross. Jim Ross. Now Jim Ross. Uh, they, were, they were the duel, like no, they were like they were the, the Laurel, Laurel and Hardy of uh, well, they WWE. Were, they, they, were, they were they were the guys, you know. They were yeah. the commentators. They were the Ronnie Bark and Ronnie Corbett of. Uh... Oh, definitely. You know, I mean, you had like you said, you had your take versus like say. Undertaker versus whoever matches, for example, you know, Shawn Michaels. Uh, Shawn Michaels. So there we are, you know. And, and uh, but you know, um, but there has been Jerry Lawler's 
reign as well not reign as a champion but I mean his time as commentator was dying down like ever since he he ever lost since PG, ever since ever he lost PG it yeah. was not just PG I think ever since he lost uh, the partnership with Jim Ross uh, he started working with Michael Cole um, Michael Cole I do not know what he's doing um, he's he, can I just say every time Michael Cole gets uh, gets um, put into a finisher everyone cheers <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, he's not a, I don't think he's a good commentator. He just reads from the script. It's where, like Jim Ross, he just you know he he, he speaks what he speaks. And then oh all, my God! The thing is, it. he built up the he built up the um, the matches as well. Whereas yeah. Michael Cole, he just doesn't do that. It's so blunt. Can I just say, anyone here who is a WWE fan, a WWE fan, if you look at Michael Cole's weekly interview, have you not seen how he pronounces WWE or this is the WWE? Everything he mentions has got to be have a WWE trademark on it in the front and I'm just thinking well it, why do you say how it is like you know I'll... and it's always going to be like oh my that's so oh, quick uh, honestly I, I an old commentary I want to see back is Joey Styles like you know he, he's good he, he was good. brilliant and Taz when they were around like you know they were yeah. but uh, but uh, this unfortunate thing with uh, with uh, Jerry Lawler um, they, I'm just so surprised I'm shocked I, I am generally shocked about this I'm thinking well well, how has this come to pass, you know? And um, there's a lot of suspensions recently. I just, I, I, I don't know what. I, yeah, I, I, I don't think... know what my reaction to it is. I, I'm, I don't know. I, I'm too like flabbergasted. Yeah, I'm gobsmacked. Gobsmacked, not gobsmacked. Yeah, gobsmacked about all this. I don't know how to react. I'm thinking, well, okay. So Jerry Law has done this uh, domestic violence. Yeah, and he was arrested for it. He was arrested for it as well. But his wife was. But too. I would never think that. Jerry would do. I just don't know. I, uh, I don't think is, he would do this, to be honest. Well, you can't judge a book by its cover. You never judge. You never know what happens behind closed doors. That's my view mm. on things. Like Chris Benoit. Like Chris Benoit. That was a very unexpected. Even though we were young. Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero. Well, I think. Sorry, going back to that conversation, I think that was another reason why he did what he did was because Eddie Guerrero was a really, well, you know, and close friend. Close friend, wasn't it? Brothers in arms, and I don't know. Everything just got to his head. But going back to Jerry, I don't Lawler, think everything got to his head. I, uh, well, not per se, like, it got to his head, like, all the fame and fortune. I think, you know, uh, the, the stress, the depression, you know, and... It, um, it gets to a superstar so it, easily. Same. There's a documentary um, which CNN done. It's Wrestling in the Shadows, I think it is. Or am I, I think, yeah, it shows my the horrible help. truth behind what has to happen. Yeah, you know, no, the truth, yeah, the truth behind uh, wrestling, or um, not Wrestling with Shadows, that's uh, Bret Hart's uh, documentary that focuses around the Montreal school job. But um, uh, we need to go into that. That was just a big. That's a we big don't need to. I think that's. I think that's just been the biggest. That's another talk. show. Yeah, that's another show. That is because yeah. that's a big, big thing to cover. Yeah, well, it's not really to cover. I think it's been covered way too many times. Yeah, it's just. It's, uh, everyone, like everyone asked me before, like, do you think Shawn Michaels is on it? Absolutely. It was. Is it? Is I don't it, think he was. Really? I don't think he was. Mm. I think because he tried to de minister and didn't he, Shawn Michaels, and he actually I know, shook hands I know, with you. I know Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart had their moments, but I don't think you know. Uh, Shawn Michaels' reaction was I uh, when Survivor Series and especially in the um, well they fought in the documentary well, didn't they, didn't in the documentary as well. Um, mm. It's not they fought together well. well I think it's personally come, backstage. Yeah, I, I, I think there's more to it, but I think Shawn Michaels is innocent. But anyway, going back to the uh, discussion, Jerry, it's like Jerry. Jerry Law's suspension and everything like that. I think, um, you know, I wish Jerry Law the best. I, I know people are going to, like some women who are sensitive uh, with sexism and all that sort of thing. I think, so, yeah. I think um, when I say I wish Jerry Law the best, it's because I grew up watching Jerry Law yeah, as we... a commentator. So please, people, you know, you don't like people out there who's going to be PC, polit politically correct, that is. Um, you don't know much as much as we do, so um, it's it's the state of mind. Well, you know, you know, I wish the you know, Jerry Lawler the best as well, but I'm talking about the Jerry Lawler that we used to know as growing up. You know, yeah. I, you know that's the Jerry Lawler we miss. And to be honest, like you said, he, his career was dying. Yeah, I, uh, it, it was as dying much as we loved him the way he was. You know, even and more, he nearly died during the show once, so that's just well, like, yeah. I, I, oh God, I remember when you know he went to the Royal Rumble. Within four seconds, he was eliminated. <laughs> it was no, I mean like uh, his heart attack. Remember his, uh, yeah, his no, heart yeah, attack. No, there was always yeah. There, that was another debate as well. Like you know, that was another. But uh, I think that does show stress. Reason, it? That was a medical. That was another medical happen, thing that happened. But that's like well. connecting to the life of as a, a wrestler, wrestler or a commentator. Yeah. How much stress you can. Jerry Lawler's um, heart attack. You know, I mean, that, it does show like. It I think that was due to an overdose. When yeah, something like that. I was just no, not an overdose. No, no, not an overdose as such. Just I don't know. Something to do with medical. 
I don't know what happened. Not med- yeah, but the thing is, medi- medication. Medication. Is, is overdose. Is that's that's relevant? No medical reasons. It could be anything. Um, so I don't think it was something to do with drugs. I think because like when when you're an old man. No offense, Jerry, but um, <laughs> Jerry, if you listen, do not hit us. <laughs> yeah, well, he's gonna have to fly down from Memphis, Tennessee, and kick our asses or something like that. He lives there. I, I he's, he's, I mean, you know us from Memphis, Tennessee. That's where he's always lived. Can I just say I'm not. Uh... I don't really follow up onto the whole like where they live as such. I just concentrate on the matches itself. But then, see, now thank you for reminding me that. Now, Reese, I, I <laughs> yeah, from Memphis, Ten- Tennessee. I didn't, but I, I didn't know that. I always thought he was from uh, for some odd reason. I always thought North Carolina. North Carolina. So, mm. uh, I don't know. He seems like it. He just seems like. No, nah, I, I always knew it from his accent. Yeah, I always seemed that type type of bloke. And yeah. people mentioned it too many times, so I, well, I, I don't know where me. you've been. <laughs> I don't. Um, but I think oh, I think we uh, covered up the Roman Reigns and Jerry Lawler suspension. Cause but, uh, like again, they were bigger shocks to me than the title in some cases. I don't yeah. even. But, but speaking about the title, um, we got the money in the we bank. We had money reaction. in the reaction here. <laughs> it's on the list there. It's on the list. We got a whole list in front of us here. Yeah. Money in the bank reaction. This is the one I've been waiting for personally. You've been waiting for it. Too I long. loved. Oh, th- this. Can I just say, ladies and gentlemen of the audience. Um, this Money in the Bank uh, pay-per-view restored Reese and Mai's, you know, sort of, like, wow, back into the WWE. Because, you know, after WrestleMania, or that, as Reese referred it to, we just sort of lost our sort of interest. Not interest as such, like, what is this? Like, this is, just, what is going on with the WWE? This is actually starting to... It started, start. mine, mine started to grow back after Extreme Af- Rules. Yeah, but after um, Money in the Bank, mine started to you know regrow. With the only the only reason why was because of the Jericho and um, Jericho and Amber was uh, asylum, that, match. asylum match when they used thumbtacks and barbed wire. This People keep mentioning the thumbtacks because of the blood it came out of. But I think barbed wire was used as well, not just holding it to put on show. They actually did use it, and the likes of like Chris Jericho to be the one going to thumbtacks. He's not the kind of wrestler to actually do that, but. Mm. He done it. I'm happy, and it got me going. Got me. Oh back yeah, extreme, it. extreme rules. Like obviously, it bought its name. You know, uh, that match bought its but name. But it should. The, but it actually should. Like the Dean, the Asylum match. Even though it was a bit slow, but it, it still used a lot of weapons. It should be that kind of pay per view where they use no disqualification matches. Matches like extreme. And that rules is and that is including the uh, the women's matches too. I mean, because the. Cause the you know, the, su- the submission match was a letdown. The submission, like, we'll, we'll never let down anyone on the women's matches. Like, you know, the women's matches just as good as they come, like, the normal match, the, the men's ma- yeah, male matches. Um, but the women's matches, I think they should have been just as extreme, you know, because that's what. Not extreme per se, well, just keep, them, keep them good looking, you know. <laughs> we, love it, we love it. But, um, but we're going off topic. Um, no, Money... we're getting, no, we're not off topic. We're just distracted. Oh, we're just distracted. <laughs> yeah. Um, Money in the bank. It was. Uh, I thought the right winner for AJ Styles and John Cena match was right. I thought AJ Styles should have won, but he should have won it on his own. I think that's. I think that's. He could have. I think he could have. He could have won it on his own, too, but I hopefully do not like it if they have a battleground AJ Styles versus John Cena where John Cena wins clean. I, I now here's now here's the thing like you know this is the match that most people wanted was the Cena versus AJ Styles because you got the phenomenal one as his name is because we can't take that away from him because he is phenomenal because he has been around the world he's done it all as everyone says and WWE do not like to mention TNA yeah because as soon as they hear TNA's name they're like well you know we're the best we're we we you know we're better than TNA I don't. Now here's the thing, TNA's held some great matches, WWE's held some great matches, I'm not going to go against all that, but um, TNA is what, well AJ Styles has you know, been in TNA and you know, he's made TNA great. Um, when Styles came over to the WWE, I think he was very, very, what's the word I'm looking for, not used as good as he should be. Like I think... AJ Styles should beat Cena. I th- straight up, clean up. I think Styles should be able to beat Cena, and um, I think that's what Cena was trying to do with this match. Was trying to make him like AJ look good. Yeah, that's my that's my personal opinion on it. I think Style. I think Styles should have, you know, because is a, a good point. Um, a YouTuber, a uh, favorite YouTuber reviewer of mine, um, he came with a good point that Styles. Then the whole Chris Jericho thing, 
he done the whole Roman Reigns thing, you know, Styles versus Roman Reigns, and lost twice. Not once, but twice. Mm-hmm. So if he, yeah. was to, if he was to lose to John Cena, no one is going to take him seriously. I wouldn't take Styles seriously if he lost to John Cena. You know, he's, uh, so it's just, it's just the question, why would you keep him on? Why would you keep, you know, he, he's just, he, like, um, like, uh, what's it good, like, when Santino was around, why keep him there? What was the point? I mean, you know, like like Bad News Barrett, why keep him there? Because, you know, it's Bad News Barrett, so, you know, he's part of the League of Nations at the time. I, I thought he, I thought it was a letdown when after he lost, after he, after he got buried by um, John Cena. Uh, so uh, it, it, well, exactly, yeah, yeah right. Um, but Styles, you know, Styles and Cena are going to go at it again. You yeah. know, and I hope to hell the club don't get involved. I, I don't want to. I don't want to get involved. The club because the club is is actually it's not, the, not just brethren not, in either. No, but guys. no, it's not just it's putting not just putting a bad name on Carl Anderson and Luke um, Luke Gallows they're or Doc Gallows. No, no offense to them, they're, but they are pain in the ass. No, they're good. They're well, good. they're good. No, they're good tag team. No, they're good tag team. No, they're underused. Well, they're okay, fair enough. They're underused. Um, Again, we have different opinions on this. Like uh, the whole range things, we have two different sort of um, opinions. No, it's like it's not just putting a bad name on the club. It's putting a bad name on Bullet Club in Japan because um, we all know that WWE is the top of the food chain uh, when it comes to wrestling. Um, Top wrestling, if you know what I mean, even though majority of the moves and majority of stuff they do is absolutely shit. But then there's New Japan Pro Wrestling, which is the second top of the food chain where Bullet Club are the biggest thing ever. I mean, I think they're bigger than NWO. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh... well, not bigger than NWO, but not like better than them. But I mean, like, it's the biggest thing ever since NWO, I think. I, I like to put it that way. Well, but, the thing, like, but the NWO, but this, um, but the Bullet Club are actually going to do better job than what the NWO did in well, WCW. Well, oh, definitely. And, and when we come to, you know, like I said, you know, you got Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. When they came to the WWE, they came, well, they just sort of like showed up, didn't they? I mean, well, something like, like showed, up. showed up. I think they just showed up, and then it was just like, oh, like I think what WWE lack is building up stories. Yeah, exactly. Building like, up momentum, and I think that's what they need to do as well by changing bookings well it's like it's like you know it's like going back to when Cena first started with Kurt, with Kurt yeah, everyone remembers this like Kurt Angle versus Cena for the very first time um, Cena just sort of showed up and I mean thinking okay you know but how do they get it like how do they come in where they you know and everyone obviously knew where they come from obviously we start you know with uh, with AJ Styles Cairns and and, and Duke Gallows because I believe they have um, they had a history didn't they beforehand I, I don't like I said I don't really follow up on these things what's that much. Uh, Styles, Anderson, and um, Luke, Gallows. Luke Gallows. I mean, they all had yeah, a bit Bullock of history. Club. Yeah, the Bullock, yeah. Well, Bullock it, it, Club. That's just it. That's just yeah. it, the Bullock. But I believe Styles was even the leader of that, was he? I, I don't know. I, he was lead, uh, no, Finn Balor. Finn Balor, well, there we are. Finn Balor, there we are. And I remember a friend that's of mine. That's why Balor Club is trending worldwide on t shirts and that. I wonder if Finn Balor will probably join. He will one day. He will join. He has to. I yeah. think he's going to be at the wrong time because they're using him too much. Because WWE is completely useless. We're booking. We're, things. we're booking things. I. Funny, they have promos. Oh yeah, they're top of the. They are at top of the world. You know how? How, how can the kids? AJ, just... AJ Styles got to be used more, man. Not enough kids have been told wrestling is uh, quote unquote fake. You know. <laughs> Oh god, that's just no, the but I say quote unquote. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm, saying. I'm glad you said quote. <laughs> um, but but yeah, when it came to like, we got to move on from AJ Styles. I know we can. It was a big. It was a good match. That's it, it, why he, I th- I thought it was. But we got to we got to move move on from uh, AJ Styles, and we'll talk about him another time. Definitely, we'll talk about him in another podcast. Definitely. Um, but uh, when it came down to the um the Money in the Bank main event with Roman Reigns versus Seth Rollins, it was a. Uh, it was actually um, it was a very good match we lo- I, loved I, it. I, I, I absolutely loved it it was a very good match because I think it showed Roman Reigns a lot more uh, expanded I think uh, if I can put it into the easiest way of giving Roman Reigns a comment a good comment that is yeah but um, Seth Rollins you know coming back and um, and actually giving it a good show that was good um, and also having the right person to win it now I know we talked about Roman Reigns' suspension, and we actually found out that WWE, <laughs> WWE wow. knew knew about it beforehand. They actually knew it beforehand. So, so I do, um, So I think that's why they had Seth Rollins to win it, then D- Dean mm-hmm. Ambrose to win. But I think 
even if we didn't know anyway, it was yeah. still a good way to end Money in the Bank by having Seth Rollins well, winning it and to show that he's not weak. No, no, and, Reigns was and, definitely not and weak. And having Roman Reigns not being put over again. No. But also having Dean Ambrose win it for the first time, and that was actually, great it. and the, that was, I think that was a, the, the best way to do it is having him win the Money in the Bank because he's the kind of wrestler that needs that push, you know. And um, the way to do it is the Money in the Bank. Well, if we if we look at it this way, Ambrose Money in the Bank this time last year, it was around this time last year. Um, you know, he faced Rollins in a ladder match for the title. Yeah. Um, so for me, when Ambrose seeing Ambrose win was a good sort of revenge for that, you know, for that uh, for that time last year where Seth Rollins, you know, because ever was, because ever since the Shield split, Reigns won the title, Rollins won the title, and they were both official. Dean Ambrose, it took a bit longer to push. Why was that? Because you know, bookings. Yeah. They will go. We'll, we can complain about this all day, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. But um. But to see Dean Ambrose finally win the title officially, and he's one of my favorite guys as well. My favorite, I, I'm so I was so happy. I think it was one of those dreams where you think, yes, they got a guy who's not built as a Cena, Will Roman Reigns. He was not big, he was not statured, but he was good a on man. the mic. He was good on the mic. He was good in the ring. You just need a wrestler to lead a company. <coughs> not, not, not like a quote-unquote superstar that you kept saying all the time through the podcast show. Superstar, they're, they're wrestlers, okay. and the way Vince McMahon says, "Oh yeah, sports entertainment." Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, no, I listen. When I say superstars, I am a, a fortune. I am those one of those guys. He's who, a PG guy, ladies and gentlemen. Oh come <laughs> on, he's a PG guy. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> hey, keep a PG. You're a PG guy. I'm not a PG guy. I'm an actor. Oh, do you want a cup of tea then? I want a beer. <laughs> <laughs> I want That's what I mean. He's a PG guy. He wants a cup of tea. Yeah, I want a, yeah a cup of tea, biscuits. Come on, I don't want to get fatty. I want to crush you. <laughs> but um, you can't even crush yourself. I can't even crush myself. I I have tried before, but wait, how can you do that? Anyway, we're going off here a little bit. We are going off here a little bit. This is uh, that's what I say. We're distracted. It's like looking at a picture of Paige. Gotta get distracted. Not I'm actually looking at it right now. <laughs> we're not in the same room together right now. Are we. <laughs> <laughs> this is wrong. So you drag me into the back room and you're looking at Paige. Just whoa, 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 whoa. I haven't got a studio yet, so leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, anyway, we're, we're talking about Betty the Bank here. We're going on the... Going we're talking about Paige, Paige in back Paige. rooms, you know. <laughs> Where was Paige from Money in the Bank, actually? She got there? arrested. Oh, not another one. No, she got a... No, it's not suspended. It got arrested. I didn't even know this. How did she get arrested for? Uh, do you want? Do you actually want me to tell you? Please do. We'll Domestic, go back to. We'll, we'll go back to money. In domestic the violence. Well, WWE can't blame her for having rough sex. I mean, come on. <laughs> Without Vince <laughs> or Del Rio. They're, 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 they're together. Oh, at least I know where the claw marks on the back came from. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, they actually are together. Yeah, yeah. On all honesty, they're they together. Yeah, they've been together for a few weeks now. But then again, we, they could say they've been. Real. I thought Paige was with the singer from A Day to Remember. Yeah, I think on Total Divas they split up. Sorry, I watched Total Divas, guys, just to look at mm, Paige. Um, going off topic here, yeah, but yeah, but that's one of the reasons. At least I know the reason why now your trousers become Speedos. Oh, for God's <laughs> sakes. <laughs> Roast it. Have we got a kid in the background? Here? Right, listen, this is the reason why I didn't go full on you know, joke there. But anyway, back to Money in the Bank. Right, but I want to talk about the match itself, believe it or not. I, I, know, I'm not, I know this is a recent po- po- podcast. No, um, you're, you're a regular now. Oh, definitely, right? But I want to talk about the Money in the Bank, uh, you know, the Seth Rollins versus Roman Reigns match itself. Like, how to get. Go ahead, go ahead. Right, we're going ahead on this one. Right, okay. Now, I liked it how. Roman Reigns got stronger throughout the times of the matches he's been through, the whole battles he's been through. But I liked how Seth Rollins wasn't the first the athletic high fly that he normally is. He actually evolved during the match. He evolved during the match. I think it was brilliant. I think you know he evolved during the match, and you started to see him do a bit more high flying, uh, you know, athletic moves. Um, he started doing more, you know, risk takers. And um, so someone's trying to end. So it's trying to end. Yeah. Um, and what? So someone's just entering the studio or the back room. Oh my gosh! Studio interference. <laughs> Wait. So. 
Ladies and gentlemen, that was my little sister then. I see the engine. Yeah, she came in the, and she she curve stomped the both of us. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> but um, no, you know, we got this match, and like I said, you seen the, you seen them both evolved during this uh, during this matchup and everything. You know, we saw we saw we actually saw a, a heel type thing for Roman Reigns. I thought we saw a bit of a heel Roman Reigns during that match. What do you mean? Well, if, have you not noticed that? <laughs> I like it when Roman Reigns gets angry. I like it when because that shows his more heel, heel persona a bit more. That sort of like I I could take anybody out. Yeah, well, one minute you know he keeps speaking, you know, and you know, um, and it's just that sort of um, that sort of what's the word I'm looking for here? And oh my god, here we go. Look, <laughs> I like this. <laughs> I like this. Um, but Reigns. Heel persona, I prefer. It's like, it's the best thing for him. It's the best thing for him to keep his mouth shut and to perform being a badass. That's the way I see Roman Reigns. If anyone agree, I don't know. If, uh, I, like Reese is not a big fan. Like I'm, I'm gonna talk about you know I'm gonna talk about Roman Reigns. You know, bat, uh, the 24 four seven, you know. Yeah, he was my favorite. But then you, know, I, I just like how they evolved during this match. I just like how Seth Rollins started using bigger, better moves every minute of the match, and Roman Reigns started showing that more powerhouse side of him. Yeah, but I think what, what did you think of it? I mean, I think um, Dean Ambrose is going to be turned heel. I want to see him perform the but then he's, he's back. back. That's why. I'm, listen, it's not. I don't think it's going to happen. Probably in the near future, but I don't think it's going to happen. No, I, th- I think I see Dean Ambrose turning heel, but it's not going to be a heel. It's going to be like Kevin Owens, where people like him. Because you know he gets, you know, like so a bit like a Stone Cold Steve Austin heel, yeah. where everyone just like you know he expected to sort of like boo instead. It was like yeah, oh my God, he's doing it. Like, you know. No, it's just gonna be like yay, you know. And um, but I think that's about it. Um, this, like you said, mentioned about the triple threat match and triple. Th- no, you didn't. And you meant about the Shield. Sorry, the Shield triple. Threat There's match. a Shield triple threat match, and I'm like, I'm, I'm I, hoping by the end of the Shield triple threat. I know, I know, Reese won't agree with me, but by SummerSlam, I am hoping for a. Sierra Hotel in you know India Echo Lima Delta entrance. I want it badly. I want the shield back, but no, um, it's, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. No, it's I not know gonna... it's not gonna happen. Uh, that's just me being you know a little kid thinking the shield's gonna be coming back. Yeah. But you know, only because well, anyone can dream. Can't anyone they? can dream. But you know, the shield triple threat. Uh, I think. It, a... But I think I I thought that was gonna happen at um, SummerSlam. Well, last year. That's the... no, 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 this year. year. No, this yeah. year coming up. I I thought it was gonna be Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. And then Roman Reigns sort of folds and into then is, And then Roman Reigns gets fold somehow gets back into the picture. I think we're... They should, bring, they should actually use a special guest referee. You have Seth Rollins and um, Dean Ambrose, and then Roman Reigns is the uh, the boring special referee. The boring but special referee. I, 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 Hate is his 2K14, ladies and gentlemen. But I actually have that. I, I don't know why. People, some people might disagree. I, I some die. Oh no, I would agree. Like no, I agree with you on the whole Roman Reigns thing. Like you know, being a bit of an ass. I, I even I admit that. But you know, I know we're going off topic a hundred thousand times here, ladies and gentlemen. We do apologise for this. No, it's not. We, well, we, we're we, still on the same topic. Still on the same. But we, we got this. You know, like I said, Shield triple threat. Like you know, all three of the powers of the Shield going against each other. We got Seth Rollins. You got you got Seth Rollins who is the uh, athletic, you know he, he well, he's the world of the Shield, wasn't he? He was the he was the guy who created the Shield. Then you got Dean Ambrose, the lunatic fringe of the Shield. You know he's the one who you know just <coughs> starts swinging and doesn't care. And you got Roman Reigns, the powerhouse. Yeah. Now everyone's gonna be thinking, oh yeah, Roman Reigns gonna take over this match, and uh, you got Seth Rollins who's gonna overtake this match because he could do the high flying. Dean Ambrose just gonna be the, the weak link as CM Punk called him at one point. But what you got to think of is that in this match, they've all got their equal strengths. Yeah. And I think, if I'm right in saying, but before before they went to the main roster, they actually faced each other, all three of them, I yeah. believe. Yeah, they did, didn't they? They all they worked with the main roster. They all went against each other. And we all saw then that, you know, they all have different strengths. Yeah. And they all got different abilities as a wrestler. As a wrestler, exactly. Now, what we want to know is, what I want to know is, personally, would this whole suspension is Reigns going to be forgiven, forgot, or is he going to? Be I don't think he will actually be. He'll be forgiven because on the first time, it's the second time where they actually they start kicking off more. They start about kicking it. off more, but um, as per, as um, the, the char- match goes. as the character. Well, I don't know about the match, so I'm not going to quote quote on the match itself. But 
quote on Roman Reigns' character uh, as he has built been built up recently um, are they going to keep him in the uh, I don't think they, they're going to keep him much in the spotlight after the wellness policy, policy suspension well yeah because yeah, you got. You I'd know, be very surprised if they I'd do be very them. surprised if he you know, goes at the battleground in the WWE Championship match straight away honestly or I, even in the main event head, headline I, I, I want to see him die down like to I think the, the good way the to back of it, the line is Seth Rollins not like back of the well, well not back of the line back but of the for sh- another title run but say something not as Big as WWE. Well, put him, no, put him down as mid card like AJ Styles and John Cena. You can still have big wrestlers, but they're just in the mid card se- section. Yeah, I, I yeah, well, because I want to see. Well, everyone wants to see now Rollins versus Ambrose. I know everyone's like, oh, but we had that match. We've only been no, but there. people but still want to see it. People though, still want to see it because, because these because are the two they, guys that people cheer for. It's not they cheer for; it's that they can deliver a crowd. <laughs> Rather than uh, once again Roman roasting Reigns. Roman Reigns, we should have a new show, um, Reese. Roasting yeah. Roman Reigns. Yeah, the R R. <laughs> the the Reese versus Lewis uh, Reigns. It'll turn into a rap battle that you see on Terrible Histories on YouTube. Seriously, be terrible. Yeah, but uh, yeah, rap battles of history. I watch them. I like them. Yeah, and um, but um, honestly, back to this, like you know, I said, Shield Triple Threat. But yeah, whether they're gonna keep him on after this, just to get the storyline over with. Debatable. It, it is debatable. I Very debatable. Um, I don't think so. You think so? I. Or you in the middle? I'm in the middle. I. I actually, no, I'm gonna go with don't think so because you don't think so because the wellness policy depends on what he's done. We don't know what he's like. I said, no one knows what he's done. It all depends on what happened. Yeah. But it's behind the closed curtains, obviously. Yeah. Closed curtains. Closed but I don't think. But like I said, like you, I'm very again. I like this whole suspension, like the whole title change. I'm gonna be very surprised to see Roman Reigns back in that title defense. Yeah. Um, it just kind of doesn't fit the build now. I'm not saying it doesn't fit the build, but it's. But this is a match. His suspension is suspension is um 30 days and he's back on the 21st and then the battleground is uh 24th. Now think about this, guys. You're having three men building up by and one of them's not there. Now this is bearing in mind Roman Reigns can't turn up for the promos. He's not even allowed near the WWE stuff. Like you, no, I mean you you just can't be anywhere near WWE for the time being. It's like Tyler Sunil as well when he done that thing to Mr. McMahon. He was out of the picture for quite some time. I'm surprised you actually, didn't win, but actually no. Then, then, then again, when Tyler O'Neill got suspended for 60 days for doing something to Vince McMahon, which I'm actually calling Tyler O'Neill God, where we done like pushed him, pulling. We, but he, anything that happens to Mr. McMahon, we respect the yeah. hell out of it. But the thing is, he came back, and then he was being put in the U.S. title picture with Rusev. Well, yeah, because I think what they wanted to see was a brute go against another brute. Yeah, but he got suspended though. I don't I against don't, Vince, I, Vince McMahon. Can I just say, anyone who goes against Vince McMahon, CM Punk was right when it comes to saying, you know, he's seen very talented guys go because of, you know, no one has a say. No, no know. one has a say apart from Vince. Now, have I hated Vince McMahon since we started wrestling? Uh, you know, since started wrestling? Of course I did. Did I love when he excommunated him? Absolutely. <laughs> you know, I, I every single everyone thing. Everyone did. Everyone did. Everyone loved it. Um, but to see, I, I believe it or not, this is actually one of the first times I heard about Titus O'Neil going against Vince McMahon. Again, this is like I said, I I only follow up when I can because, like I said, I'm working a lot a lot of hours. And I, I'm your updated. Uh, yeah, you're my guy. yeah, you're my update guy. Like you pop up on Facebook sometimes and say, "Oh, guy, do you know about this?" What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do a stone cold what? I generally do a stone what? cold what? What? <laughs> what? Yeah. But the next one we got to talk about here after the you know, but anyway, but sorry, yeah, back, to back conclude, to the, yeah, conclude. To conclude the shield, triple threat. I'm hoping they do, but I don't think they're going to. Same here. I I think there's gonna be more to it than my, there's I'll, gonna be less uh, less to Roman Reigns when they get back uh, when he gets back from suspension. Because so, unfortunately, with Vince McMahon WWE, once and I think you he mess needs, something up, that that's it. And he it, needs to push more. Seth talent to Ambrose now, and they need to push Kevin Owens. In my opinion, I, th- I think they need to push Kevin Owens now. But I think it, I think it is about time. Uh, but anyway, the fifth one we got on our list is the um, Wyatt family versus New Day. Now this uh, this is what I wanted to do as well. This um, is- yes, yeah, so basically, uh, Wyatt family returned. Bray Wyatt looks well, better Bray Wyatt, than ever. Bray Wyatt Bray is better than yeah. ever. He's even skinnier. He's actually skinnier. Well, I think he's lost weight. Yeah, I think he's lost a bit of weight. I think he's just grown a bit of more hair. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the thing is, <laughs> people, p- the, ru- the, the rumors are going around that um, there is going to be a fourth 
no, fifth member of the Wyatt yeah, family. Got, Luke Harper's still out injured. Yeah, is he? He's still out injured. Still he he done something to his knee, which is gonna get him out for eight to nine months. Is this by the hands of Brock Lesnar? Because I will not be. Surprised. No, he um I think um he was thrown out of the rope and he landed awkwardly on his knee. I, uh, so yeah, so sorry if you guys hear that in the background. We got family over, so uh, well, what's our fans? <laughs> <laughs> it's our family. Yeah, my family. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, um, I think it's gonna be. They said there was gonna be a fifth member, and it was gonna be someone. I thought it was gonna be Adam Rose, but he's been released from his contract. Um, I thought it was gonna be someone big. Um, I wouldn't mind Big Show actually for that matter. But then again, uh, Boy Showman. You got your muscle now. But you, you got already got you already got Braun Strowman. Um, so people be thinking, and I was not expecting. Spoiler alert! I thought I thought it was gonna be Daniel Bryan for a massive surprise reason because we also Daniel Bryan joined the Wyatt family a while ago. I no, I think that's just been that pointless. was just a bit, was bit pointless. pointless rumor. That was that was. But just... now I think it's now in the open <laughs> the open air thing. that uh, Xavier Woods. Xavier, Xavier Woods. Xavier, yeah. He was gonna be uh, the new member. Can I just say I will the reaction we said we wanted to react to this. Uh Xavier Woods uh <laughs> Xavier's wide eye, you know his, his reaction was actually more um, dark, wasn't it? His very was dark. Like wow, like you know, wait, what's what is this that you're possessing me in, like, you know? Yeah, it was just like he looked possessed. He just looked it was just one of those was and the way he did, like they they brought it out it's like Bray Wyatt. Bray, yeah, well, Bray Wyatt is a you know like, like, the fear when he yeah well yeah. he uses like new day falls new day falls um, <laughs> yeah I thought that was I thought, I thought, that, was, I thought that was good um, but that, it's good we can I think now that the Wyatt family are gonna have a title opportunity push um, definitely well I everyone think wants now, to see Enzo I, versus I, I, you know Enzo ver, Enzo and Big Cass they wanted to win but because they've just been pushed no I think it's, I roster, think they're still gonna be developed more I think they need a little bit more time in the tag team area a little tag bit more um, before getting the title push but it's like uh, because of Big E, Saviour and Kofi they've been in the uh, business for, I think for a long, as long as well they've been gonna... they've been champion for, now for, well, for, they've for been... ages now they've been tag team champions for ages yeah, yeah. so um, I think it's good that the New Day are getting a treat uh, a, a, it's like a dream match you now New Day versus Wyatt Family I've always wanted to see this I've but always we've always wanted to see Shield versus Wyatt Family didn't we Cause that well was... we had that didn't we a mi- multiple well, times I mean, uh, no I mean it was one well I can't okay, one, a, few, yeah. a few times but I mean Encounters. the first time Oh, the first time, wow. And why it finally beat the Shield the first time. Yeah, that was bad. I couldn't believe that from my own eyes, believe it or not. But then, but to see the New Day now react to such a more darker opponents. Yeah. I, you know, I mean, like we all saw Xavier Woods walking towards the Wyatt family and, and Bray Wyatt just, and, and you know, even like the Big E and Kofi were trying to pull back. Yeah, it was just, it was th- I think that's going to be a good that's dark, dark storyline. I like to tell him this is darker tone. I think we can, Conclude that on that matter. We'll conclude that. Yeah, we'll do that. Is, well, is, that's, that's our reaction. I'm very shocked to see Xavier Woods walking over to the really, wall. I thought Biggie was going to do that. I thought Biggie was going to do that. But then but again, Biggie I think Xavier, so, Xavier's always been the uh, I'm, sens- I'm, sensitive. I'm, he's I'm, always been the vulnerable Yeah, he's one. always been a sensitive, vulnerable one. Because if you've not noticed, that Xavier Woods didn't really take part much in the tag team matches. You know, in the you know in, in the belt defenses, Xavier Woods would be always the one blowing that sh- stupid. No, trunk. it's good. It's Don't good. Say that. It's okay, good. it's funny. It's funny, but then you know, it's good. You know, uh, 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 you know, all like uh, yeah. it, but that concludes our reaction on the uh, Wyatt family return. Welcome back, Ray Wyatt. <laughs> good to have you back, um, man. We're gonna conclude this final uh, podcast with the final discussion. WrestleMania thirty three. Now um, me and me and Reese, now two boys back in our high school. Yeah. Back in Barry Compton. Once upon a time. No, it's not once upon a time, is it? Once upon a time, back in <laughs> Barry Compton school, there were two boys. Oh, oh no, you're going going too far. No, it's um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's um, there have been discussions like where this, this, this compi- it's about comprehensive years. Um, me, my mate Lewis. Um, I'm right here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> me, my mate Lewis, and um, but my mate Leighton as well, who who originally asked me this. I've mentioned it in my previous podcast. Yeah, um, I have heard. I, I do listen to him actually. <laughs> I'm surprised you do. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, then. well then, that's fine. Well, um, well basically. Uh, my mate Leighton has originally asked me to come to watch WrestleMania 33 of him. I've agreed. 
but I've recently turned around and asked Lewis Winter as well if you'd like to come with us. Um, I'll tell you what, if I can afford it, because <laughs> you've got to remember, WrestleMania 33 is in... Uh, April. April? Uh, what we've got next year in Florida. It's cheap. Florida. It's Florida. cheap. Is that That's cheap? cheap? No, Flor- Florida's cheap. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Florida is the cheapest part of America to go. Okay, so obviously... All the, east, all the eastern states are cheap to go. This is not on top of the replica belts we're going to buy. This is not on top of the WWE gear we're going to buy. Yeah, so um, we're going to be planning to go to WrestleMania 33. Um, it's going to be my myself, Leighton, um, I don't, if Lewis, I can, I'm, I'm, and yeah. also two of my other mates, Ryan Cox, uh, who's been on the podcast show recently, and my friend uh, Nick Latham, who could also be joining, but we do not know yet. It's too early. Um, but when the tickets, uh, not tickets itself, travel packages, right, come out, I'm looking we're gonna at... We're going to have a look at all of them. We're, we're going to have a look at all of them, them. and um, we're going to in- come into consideration. So Leighton, Ryan, Nick, if you're listening, mainly Leighton, because he asked me this, I can't wait. We're going to have to do it Sunday, and we're looking forward to it. I'm and looking so, forward to it. And Wrestle- the DT Boys will go into WrestleMania, WrestleMania Access, NXT, Raw, and everything. I think that's going to be... Definitely. Well, that's the thing. Is when Reese actually asked me, it was actually like a... I actually did a Dwayne the Rock Johnson, <laughs> Dwayne the Rock Johnson uh, impression. Like finally, you know, yeah. finally we're gonna turn up to WrestleMania 33, and I just can't. I just can't wait. If we, if we get, you know, go in there would be the biggest dream come true for me. Yeah, and I can't wait for. Uh, especially gonna be in Florida as well. So um, what do you reckon? Well, should we have a little prediction of matches just to? Get out of oh, a few. Okay, then a few. A few. Just maybe the one or two. He's, like, he's gone over an hour here. As well. Already? Yeah, gone over an hour. Look good. at that. Good gone, yeah. <laughs> Who do you think Undertaker is going to wrestle at 33? John Cena. Straight up? Straight up, John Cena. Straight up, okay, fair enough, fair enough. I'm going to have to agree with you. That sounds bad. Yeah. <laughs> Any... to... I would either like to see John Cena or. Um... Roman Reigns. No, I'm joking. Not Roman Reigns. I was just annoyed. Reese. He just didn't give me that look. Right I know. Right. <laughs> I want to see Undertaker versus Ambrose. I just no. I don't. No. I don't see that happening. But we. But, but we'll stick with Cena for all time's sake. Um. Any more? Uh. The WWE cha- you know, Championship at that time. I mean, come on. We're, we're looking at Seth Rollins versus uh, Roman Reigns versus Dean Ambrose again. For the hundredth time. For the hundredth time, probably. Um, I have a feeling the Triple H. Cindy Nakamura. No, uh, Cindy Nakamura. I can see him being in it, but I do not know, do not know against who. But I like to see Brock Lesnar versus Samoa Joe. Brock Lesnar versus Samoa. Imagine that triple threat. Brock Lesnar versus Samoa Joe now versus Kevin Owens. Everyone asked me what was my dream match. Kevin Owens versus Brock Lesnar. Book it, Vince. Even though you won't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can see. It. I want to see a small Joe versus Brock Lesnar because they because they're both brutes. They are both, and they're both depicted as strong, lethal beasts. You know, and uh, well, we, 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 Kevin Owens. I can see him in the title picture as well. I think hopefully he'll be in it, but uh, we'll we'll just have to wait and see. We'll definitely have to wait and see. I can't wait. I can't wait to see what uh, thirty three better be worth the trip. <laughs> we all, we both hope that one. Yeah. But, I think it's going to be awesome either way because it's going to be a good atmosphere because just being there for me and Reese has been a dream since we were kids. Yeah. Dream like we have been mentioning it quite a lot of times and um, the thing is now it's all to do with money, it's all to do with um, Time. timing, you know, trying to get days off work and trying to do this, trying to do that. You know, I'm, not the, I'm not the only one that works a lot. Reese even works quite a bit from here and there, you know, with his, um, with his productions and whatnot and um, I'm working quite a bit so we have to find the time we have to find the time to do this which was like like four times I had to postpone yeah so but I had to postpone well we had to postpone because well. yeah. I was working I'm, I, I work in a, a sports direct um, but you know it's got it's got to you got to get the money you uh, got to get the money you got to you gotta work got to work got to work otherwise you wouldn't be going to these things and, Other, um, otherwise you get the wellness policy on your ass then <laughs> they might get fired or get suspended you know <laughs> I hope I you know I, I you know you I, could... I hope to God that the rules if I join wrestling I'm hoping to God that the rules are not that you know like I never I would never do like don't take any medications at all probably for Lewis. Well, I can't take a paracetamol need... without getting <laughs> you know can't even take a paracetamol without getting told off. I mean it's like being at work you're not allowed to go on your phones 
It's like if you check one little thing on your phone. Oh, you can't do that. That's annoying. Yeah. But anyway. Well, Reese, that's I think that's it. I think that's all we covered everything. Yeah, I think we have covered everything. Um, well, thank you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for all that. Uh, I've enjoyed being here. I'm hoping to be on here and invade again. You hope. I hope. <laughs> you do hope. <laughs> well, this yeah, is... Knows. Well, I hope you... Ladies and gentlemen, like Lewis said, I hope you really enjoyed this podcast as much as we have been discuss, oh, we just discussing laugh. about all these topics and everything like that. And I think um, uh, Lewis... Uh, I think you'll be coming back. I'll definitely coming back. You know, like I said, he's a, he's a regular. Working, if I'm not working, I'll be on here definitely. Yeah, so I, I don't think it's going to be me much uh, on the. I know it's Dingy Boy show. My nickname is Dingy Boy, but uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like to have more people coming on so I can discuss it with people rather than talking about it myself. I think I find it more. I find it more difficult on my own because um, it's, tr- own it's own trying own. to. It's trying to not. Yeah, you're on your own. Debatable. Yeah. Um, so. Um, uh, hopefully then I get Lewis or I get my mate Ryan Leighton or Nick to come on the shows and um, to be more um, part of it um, so I want to bring more people on onto the um, onto the, the show and get them on board and they can have their own little section of shows so you can oh. have like the Lewis Winter show for example oh, it'll, be, it'll be wicked and you, you, or you the Lu- my guest then <laughs> the Lewis Winter section the Lewis Winter section I like it yeah Lewis's section C-section hey I know. <laughs> there'll be a lot of page posters there just to let you guys know. oh PG, keep it PG. No, okay, don't keep it PG. PG we, we haven't been PG ever. Ruthless aggression was my favorite. Area. Attitude. Mine was attitude. Only because of Stone Cold. Be honest. No. Well, not just Stone Cold. It was Triple H. Stone Cold. No, it was Mick Foley. Oh, okay, Mick Foley. Yeah. No, it was Mick Foley. Mick Foley, obviously. Um. But and yeah, the Big Show was actually treated like a giant, not yeah. like a prick. <laughs> um. Yeah, but how can you not? How can you like the ruthless aggression? We, we actually we, we're trying to conclude the show, and then we're going on. Wait a minute, quick question: What do you think of the Kate and Vic storyline? Kate and Vic storyline. You have not heard of the Kate and Vic. It was the big part of the ruthless aggression oh, era. Was... Let's just put it this way: it made. Do you know what it was? Not fully. I'm not gonna lie. It well, was, go, uh, go and look it up, and then we'll discuss about it in the next we'll dis- one. We'll discuss it on the next podcast. I got to search this. He shit. does not know the Kate and Vic story. Can I just say? I was going through a time where I was on it and off it, on it and off it, and on it and off it. I was like The Rock, coming back and coming, going off, coming, you know. And, um, you know, to, you know, I'm a man who likes ruthless aggression. I like to see tables, I like to see lads, chairs, blood, whatever, you know. He likes attitude rather than ruthless aggression. Yeah, I like the whole fuck this, fuck that you know, era. I, I always like this, um, which everyone could agree on. But PG era, what the F is that about? What? Oh, well, CM Punk, come back. <laughs> that's it. Well, I think that's all we got time for here, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, this is this is the Deansy Boy Show. I am your host, Reese Deans, and this is Lewis Winter signing out. And this is us signing out. Goodbye. Finally. <laughs>